Do insects make your skin crawl? Does getting on a plane take your fears to new heights? If so, you're not alone. According to the American Psychiatric Association, phobias are the most common psychiatric illness among women and the second most common in men. The National Institute of Mental Health suggests that 10% of U.S. adults are affected by phobias each year. These phobias typically emerge during childhood or adolescence and continue into adulthood. There are many reasons why phobias develop, including evolutionary and behavioral theories. Fortunately, phobias are treatable conditions that can be minimized or eliminated with cognitive and behavioral therapy and medications. So, what is a phobia? Phobias are a type of anxiety disorder characterized by significant, irrational, or extreme fear of specific situations or things. Individuals with phobias often go to great lengths to avoid coming in contact with the circumstance or object they fear. Symptoms of phobias include extreme or irrational fear to specific triggers, inability to control response to fear, anxiety or panic, rapid heartbeat, shortness of breath and avoidance behaviors. These symptoms may range in severity from mild to severely impacting one's ability to function. What causes phobias? Phobias are caused by a combination of biological, psychological, and social environmental factors. Let's take a closer look. Biological. Genetics can play a role in phobias, meaning that some phobias can run in families. Psychological. Personality and cognitive factors play a role in psychological causes of phobias. For example, people who experience disgust in response to certain stimuli may be more likely to develop specific phobias. In addition, cognitive biases may play a role in the development of fear that causes specific phobias. Social environmental. Having a traumatic or fearful experience in the phobic situation can cause a specific phobia. Alternatively, phobias can be developed by observing someone respond fearfully to a situation or via learned fear from the media. Now that you have a basic understanding, here is our list of the 10 most common phobias. Social phobia, the fear of social interactions. Also known as social anxiety disorder, Social phobias are by far the most common fear or phobia therapists see in their clients. Social anxiety disorder makes everyday interactions challenging, stressful, and anxiety-provoking for its sufferers. Therapy can often be a great help in working towards more confidence. Trypophobia, the fear of circle clusters. Although this common phobia could come off silly at first, Many people have a very real struggle with trypophobia. There are many theories of what causes trypophobia, most of which point toward human evolution. The image of circle clusters are reminiscent of things we as humans have feared in the past, like infectious diseases and dangerous animals like bees. Mysophobia, the fear of germs. Mysophobia is the excessive fear of germs and dirt. People who suffer from this phobia can engage in extreme cleaning, compulsive hand washing, and avoid things or situations that they think might be dirty. In some cases, this phobia may be related to obsessive compulsive disorder. Thanatophobia, the fear of death. Thanatophobia, the fear of death, is not shocking, but when it takes over day-to-day -day activities, and causes extreme anxiety that prevents seemingly normal activities and behavior, it becomes a serious problem. Nosophobia, the fear of developing a disease. Although similar to hypochondria, nosophobia is anxiety about minor symptoms you fear are a more serious condition. Nosophobia can often be treated with exposure therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, or medication. It's best to communicate these concerns to a professional in order to take the best course of action. Arachnophobia, the fear of spiders. Arachnophobia is the extreme fear of spiders and other arachnids, such as scorpions. 
Most commonly, this excessive fear is linked to an evolutionary response against these creatures, many of which are poisonous. Symptoms of arachnophobia fear most often appear during childhood, but can also develop into adulthood. As with most phobias, anxiety from this specific fear can manifest as physical symptoms too. Via phobia, the fear of driving. Via phobia is the fear of driving, often on highways or bridges. For most who suffer from via phobia, the phobia follows involvement in a car accident or witnessing one. This specific fear is often similar to symptoms of acute stress disorder or PTSD, depending on their individual experience. Claustrophobia, the fear of enclosed spaces. Fear of enclosed spaces. Feeling claustrophobic or fearing a tight, enclosed, or confined space includes symptoms such as difficulty breathing or a fear of running out of oxygen. It is believed that about 5% of the population suffers from claustrophobia. Often, this includes experiencing extreme anxiety on airplanes, busy venues such as shopping malls or crowded elevators. You can feel claustrophobic in any confined space or situation where you feel trapped or confined. Acrophobia, the fear of heights. Acrophobia is believed to be partially ingrained, whether biologically or evolutionarily, as a survival mechanism. We all need to be a little afraid of heights because of the danger of falling. The acrophobia fear, however, is a hyperreaction an unreasonable and perhaps debilitating feat that could be caused by one's parents' overreaction or a previous fall. Aerophobia, the fear of flying. The fear of getting on a plane is often associated with other fears, like the fear of closed spaces or fear of heights. It can also be passed down from parents if they are anxious flyers. Another cause involves the media coverage of plane and helicopter accidents. So there you have it. Remember, phobias are treatable, and the good news is that nearly all people with a phobia are aware of their disorder. This awareness helps immensely with treatment. Phobias are generally treated with a combination of therapy and medication. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more daily facts. See ya.